Mm -hmm. Well, that's perfect timing for the red animals. Got it's a pull between the branch and the branch. Just left Ihaha, we're now on the cut line out towards the main road and hopefully get on the tar road and then drive off to Savuti. Ihaha has been great, this area of the Chobe Park has been really beautiful. It's very lush, the bush is very thick when you come out of the floodplains of the river and although I've said a couple of times that you don't need a 4x4, I must say on this cut line it's quite sandy and it might be advisable to have a four-wheel drive here. At no time have we had any requirement for low range or diff lock, but certainly the sand's relatively deep on this cut road. There's a quite a high middleman as well, so good clearance is important, but otherwise it's fairly easy driving. To our benefit, of course, it has rained a few days ago, so the sand's relatively wet and compressed. We're driving now at almost one o'clock in the afternoon so pretty much peak temperatures almost and that's typically when the sand is most difficult to drive on but it's really quite easy going so far i can imagine though that in the dry season and it does get very hot here in the dry season that it might be just a bit more difficult to navigate this road still not impossible but definitely four by four recommended it's also quite a narrow track, so where you see cars, you've got to give way for each other, as this car in front of us has just done now. <laughs> Thanks for that. And that also digs up the road a bit because they've got to then make their way over the middleman. So, four wheel drive, <laughs> recommended. A lot of the road to Savuti is tar road, so it's not all slogging. We're hoping it's going to take us a maximum of two hours. We'll see about that. It's very rare that I'm accurate with the amount of time it takes. I almost always underestimate. But it's about 140 kilometers. And of that 140 kilometers, less than 50 kilometers is dirt road. So, you know, two hours seems about right. Might be a little bit more. At this time, we're doing about 30 kilometers an hour on average, trying to stay close to 40, which is the speed limit in the park. But it is a sandy road, it's a bit undulating and uh, bumpy, so the car's bobbing up and down a bit. Left camp at 12.30, hoping to get to Savuti, half past two, maybe three o'clock, with uh, still a good bit of light to set up the camp and relax because we've got a couple of days there and because that's what we're doing this trip, we're spending a few more days than we would normally do. Then we don't have to rush to set up camp and then get out and go see some wildlife and check the place out. We're gonna probably take it easy and then start exploring tomorrow morning. Noticed a fuel station just outside Muchenje, so stop there quickly. It's filled up the diesel guzzling wild dog Land Cruiser 80 series petroleum addict. <laughs> so stop to fill up just in case because we don't know when next we're going to get fuel. Hopefully we'll get fuel at Savuti, but we don't know for sure. So all is good policy to keep the tanks full when you can and hopefully that will see us in good stead. So I clearly underestimated this dirt road, 60 kilometers from where the tar ends to Savuti. We've done about maybe a third of that so far. The sand is very deep. We're pretty much staying in second gear, sometimes going to third gear. 
fortunately we stopped to let the tires down at just the right time so we're down to about 1.6 bar maybe a little bit less on all four tires so we've done all the right things but uh, yeah sand's quite deep and for some reason it seems like there's another vehicle that's gone before us might be a vehicle with a very wide wheelbase but what's happening is that their right hand tires have been climbing up on the right hand side of the track and kind of making a, a ridge of sand in the middle of the right wheel track so that's made it a bit hairy in a few instances because it you know it kind of pulls the car to one side or the other so yeah it's quite a difficult road you need a 4x4 there's no doubt about it you need good clearance it's deep sand you've got to keep your wits about you a bit as well so my initial two and a half hour estimate is clearly <laughs> way off from what it's actually going to take What a drive. It's only 60 kilometers of dirt road, but it's a long 60 kilometers. It's a narrow track as well, very sandy, which is difficult when you've got to pass other cars. So we've only had one instance where we pulled off the road. We've had two crossings and the one the other person pulled off and we drove fast and the second one we had someone approaching with the caravan so we pulled off for them and then we got in the sand deep soft you know, unconsolidated sand but of course we have a 4x4 with all three diff locks so we switch on all three diff locks go into low range back up a little bit and then drive back onto the track and that worked out really well but it is a, it's a long 60 kilometers. It's a long drive. Got to keep concentrating. Long drive today, 60 kilometers of dirt road to get to Savuti. I vastly underestimated. It was deep sand a lot of the time. And so average speed was less than 30 kilometers an hour. Took more than two hours to do that 60 kilometers. Yes, we did obviously stop to let the tires down and we also had to stop at the gate, but all of that included still a significant amount of time to drive that 60 kilometers and we stopped once or twice to look at some animals it's a long drive it's a tiring drive because you're constantly trying to concentrate on what's coming up trying to keep your revs up trying to keep your speed right Ooh. Ooh. okay that was the drive rock and roll yeah. Nice campsite. It's a nice campsite. So, a difficult drive if you're going to come that way, be aware. You definitely need, I believe, a four wheel drive 
and you definitely need to be able to, I think, let your tires down so you can get some good traction through the sand. The sand itself wasn't that difficult, even though we were driving in the heat of the day, but there are sections where it does get quite deep. And more importantly, if you're gonna have to get off the tracks to let somebody come in the opposite direction get past you, then it's an easy way to get bogged down as well. We got a little bit stuck just for a second, but fortunately, um, sense prevailed and we stopped the car immediately and um, engaged diff locks and got out of that. So that worked out quite well, but you definitely need a four x four to do this route. So eventually got to camp relatively early in respect of the gate times. We still could have gone out for a drive, but we've decided that we want to chill for this evening after that long drive, of course. And we set up camp, got the fire going eventually. There's a little tuck shop here on the site. So went up there to get some wood. I must say the cost of wood in Botswana is surprising. We are paying significant sums of money for wood, probably at least 50% more than, than what we would pay in South Africa. But nevertheless, it's nice to have wood, nice to have a wood fire going. It does add to the ambiance of a camping expedition. Our campsite's a bit on the edge here. There are a couple of elephants that have gone past. The guy that walked us to the campsite said there was a lion around. We haven't seen or heard anything of it so far. It's quite a few bugs around, but a lot better than our previous site where we were right next to the river at Ihaha. Um, so the bug situation is definitely better. But we're back to our usual routine and we're gonna chill by the fire, make some dinner, and after that, maybe go have a shower and then hit the sack. And tomorrow, we're gonna start exploring the Savuti area.
stroll the day, quite relaxed today. Got up relatively late, sort of, <laughs> our normal getting up time. Finally got out to go and see some of the surrounds and look for some wildlife. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a puncture along the way. Uh, there's a lion in the background. So the lions and elephants here are quite vocal to say the least and uh, the lions actually sound quite close by. But anyway, we got out, uh, did see a bit of wildlife, quite a bit of elephant and a few impala and that sort of thing, some wildebeest. Nothing really significant today in respect of stuff that we haven't seen before. The bush is really thick. Unfortunately, we had a puncture side wall of one of the rear tires. So had to rush back to campsite and do a tire change. So just pumped up the wheel quickly, just enough to uh, get buy some time to get back to campsite, which is what we did. Sidewall puncher, so not sure that we can do anything about that. Very happy at this point that we do have a second spare. Otherwise, I would be a little bit worried. Well, actually be very worried at this point. After that, we went out again, tried to look for more significant sightings. Not much. We were informed that there was a lion in the area, which is probably that lion that's making a racket now. And uh, we couldn't see it. There were a couple of cars that drove into the bush to go and look at it. But we tried to stick to the rules, stick to the road. So we didn't venture into the bush to go and try and find this lion and its kill. Other than that, it was pretty uneventful. Um, kind of underwhelmed at how much wildlife we're seeing. It's not much and it's I think largely because the bush is really thick. So seeing a lot of elephants, a lot of impala, but not much else. The bush is really quite thick here.
What a day out. We've spent most of the day out today and our persistence has paid off. We've just seen a fantastic pride of lions. Male lion with a massive mane, female and four cubs. There was another female lion as well in the background, but uh, couldn't get any shots of that one. But, yes, <laughs> very happy. I feel loud, like one of those people that goes to the national park just to see lions. We come to see everything, but seeing lions, always, always the cherry on the cake. So, feeling great, man. Had a, had a great day out and saw a lot of the park or this area of the park today because we traveled it almost flat through the woodlands, through the plains, up to the marshes, to the various watering holes, the bigger pans, and it's been a great day. Okay, now do the alarm thing. Okay, now start. Start again. Stop, 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 stop. This thing's fine. Sounds of Sabuti. <laughs> <laughs> 